The great thing about Camera Obscura is they, they both celebrate and comment on that idea of, of what pop actually is. pop song in a way at its, its very, very best is the perfect um, encapsulation of the, of the giddy excitement and the giddy disappointment of love itself. Uh, and that's why Camera Obscura is such an, a, 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 an extraordinary pop group. So even though other people with more profit-minded motivation have taken over the idea of pop, and at the moment when you say pop, people kind of think more of Westlife than say, I, I would, you know, if I say pop, I would think of Buzzcocks, I would think of Smiths. I would think of Joseph Kay. Uh, I would think, oddly enough, of Elliot Smith. Uh, I would think of John Cale. I would think of the Fairport Convention. And that's the kind of pop tradition that I would place Camber Obscura in. And it's a pop music that I think we should have a lot of um, belief in, especially at the moment. There's something about that kind of pop music and the way that Camber Obscura interpret that, that pop music that basically says that however gloomy and doomy the world is, and in a way we might reflect that in our music, However doomy and gloomy the world is, it can be better, it will be better, and it will be better because we feel this way. We feel this way about love, and we feel this way about how exquisite the love song can be. James, he came to my place He said he had to see my face He hopes that we can still be friends I write things down because it makes me feel better and I just tend to write lyrics when I need to get something out but I don't necessarily want to say it to another person, if that makes sense, so it's kind of like a diary maybe. Well I think sometimes the, the problem with Tracy Ann is why it's led to the terms of abuse and the terms of simplifying what they do and the need to somehow put it in a box is because no one's been able to quite just confront the fact that of, of all the people that have been influenced by songwriters like uh, uh, New Order uh, and Morrissey, uh, Tracy Ann has probably picked up that baton as well as anyone. And it may be because she's, she's a woman. It may be because the music has a, a, a gentleness that, that, that in the rock tradition is deemed to be um, immediately uh, uh, suspicious. And it may be, you know, the Scottish thing, the Northern thing, somehow there's an easy box to put everyone in. So she's been tremendously underestimated as, as, as a quite remarkable songwriter that constantly finds new ways to, to um, interpret the, 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 the giddiness of falling in love and the, and, the, and the terror, if you like, of being heartbroken. If you were a season, you would be in blue. I wish I had good reason to see you soon. No they don't do that thing, and this is what's brave, of the modern thing of, of filling in sonically in the way that they, they might want to sound like a record sounded in 1958, because in a way that's, that's more uh, uh, provocative. I think when, when we're writing songs, um, when Tracy brings the idea of a song, we certainly don't like to fill a song up with as much noise as we can. I think, I think you're right. We want the vocals to come through and we just want certain melodies to, to, to appear to people. A lot of that's got to do with the way we record as well and maybe we fell into that by accident because we, we do like to get the song up to scratch where we're all playing. We like to go in and record live and get a good take, and it's a really old-fashioned way to do it, and I don't think we could, well, I could cer certainly never really think about doing it any other way, you know, there's other bands that go in and they do the drums and then they do, mm. it's like, oh my God. We never had the luxury of having the time for that in the first place, but I, th I think there's a certain sort of bravery about just going in and trying to get a good take and then having the guts to say, right, that's it, that's the take. And we might do a few overdubs, but what would be the point, really, of putting too much on? Less is more. It's, it's interesting that most bands need to be produced to really fill in the idea that it's pop music. Whereas Camber Obscura, unproduced in a way, underproduced, just basically allow you to fill in with your imagination the rest of the, of the, of the input that you need to, to turn it into the pop song, but it can only really turn in your imagination.
don't take ourselves too seriously individually. I don't think we take ourselves too seriously. And there's no in bad tension where anyone thinks that they they are slightly more important than anyone else. I think that, but that's kind of taken a long time to get to that stage. So I think in general we are. It's definitely. Um, feels good to be around each other these days. I think a lot of that's got to do with the fact that we've become more relaxed yeah. about what it is we do. You know, we might not take ourselves individually that seriously, but we take this seriously, you know. Mm. It's, we're trying to be good. We want to be better. Now, in, in, in the 20 teens or whatever we're about to go into, there was contemporary as anything. And in a Scottish sense, there was contemporary as your Franz Ferdinand's or your Glas Vegas's or The View, whichever contemporary Scottish band you want to say, you know, they, they, they haven't sort of drifted off out of history. I just prefer sometimes to think of them as a, as a band that, whose name begins with C. And on my playlist, they would just go very naturally between Camel and Can. And then there'd be Carol King and the Chameleons and Claire Hamill. Uh, crispy Ambulance, they're just that kind of group. They just go into your daily life, what your favorite music is, because they manage to capture sonically some of the turbulence of what it is to grow old. Now, obviously, sometimes that seems to be in only a teenage state, but I can promise you a good 30 or 40 years on from the teenage state that it just carries on through your life. I think that they should be busted out of all the boxes they, they're put in, because quite simply, they are just a great pop group. And every single single that they put out should just be, in a traditional sense, number one in the charts, on top of the pops.